Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight the question we are asking is what's in the box in regards to this game. This is The Fox in the Forest from Renegade Game Studios. This is a two-player trick-taking game that I've actually played before, but this, I finally have my own copy. I had a copy on loan from uh, Terry Latorco, that Terry girl, let me borrow a copy to take part in Renegade Games Worldwide Play Day, which was awesome of her, and I loved the game. I actually wrote up a review. Uh, you can see a copy of the review down in the notes below. I did up the review, and then I wanted a copy. My wife tried to find us a copy of the game, failed, and then one awesome local gamer, uh, Tech2674, or Kevin Reno, actually dropped this off, did a porch drop in the middle of the coronavirus mess. This showed up on my porch, so thank you very much, Kevin. It's really appreciated. So again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. There you can find news, reviews, and answers to your gaming questions. If you've got a question for us, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. All right, enough self-promotion. We're going to open this up, take a look what's in it. Uh, the back of the box says The Fox in the Forest by Joshua Burgell. A trick-taking game for two players. Play cards to win tricks against your opponent. Use special abilities on the character cards to change the trump suit lead even after losing a trick and more so first off i'm going to cut the shrink wrap off all right so here we have the box for fox in the forest we're going to slowly crack this open doesn't want to go it's sticking all right Right on top, we have a Renegade Game advertisement with their 2020 Spring Catalog. So you know this is a recent printing, seeing as it's 2020 Spring right now. It's your typical catalog of other games that Renegade Games produces that come in their games. I admit I'm a huge fan of many games that Renegade puts out. I'm not sure about this particular list. I see Fuse. That's an awesome game. I see Arboretum. I just played that the other week. Fox in the Forest Duet, which is a co-op version of this game. Then we have... This is interesting. I've never seen this. This is Strategy Games, another ad. Okay, so an ad for similar games in the same series of games. So Renegade now breaks their games into different categories. This is in their Strategy series. There's an ad for Arboretum and Blood of an Englishman, where you play Jack the Giant Killer. Then we have the instructions. Again, I've played this game, but I have, this is my first time opening this copy. I've not seen a sealed new copy. Uh, the instructions are not a book, but they are a fold-out. Which you can see the full length of here. So you have four pages, including the cover, five full pages on the back, but then the last part's just a bit of a story. Rules are clear, easy to read, fonts a little small, but not terrible. The artwork here is a good indicator of the artwork that's on the actual cards. Game was really simple to learn. I read the rules once. I think we had to reference a couple things in the rules twice, but most of it's covered by reference sheets. Then we have some punch boards with scoring tokens. Fairly nice thick card here. They punch pretty easily. They're not falling off, but there's little bits of jaggies left. But you know what? Who cares on a scoring token? It's not like these are going to be shuffled in a bag where being able to feel that matters. And thankfully, there's a nice place to store them. I'm not going to punch these now. What I am going to do is move on to the cards. They come in a sealed plastic package. Uh, there is one of those cigarette case style quick release on here but you know what if I don't get it quickly enough I'm gonna go right to the exacto sorry let's see the hobby knife the uh, knife to open this up which I'm gonna fail there we go got one section so one thing I like to see already is these are standard sized cards plain card sized cards so we have a scoring reference two-sided that also has a card reference on the back we have two of those two-player game then we get into the first suit of the game which is bells and the swan card on the bells so every other card the odd numbered cards have special rules so here's an example of the swan card with the rules for the swan on the bottom which says if you play this and lose the trick you get the lead for the next trick so despite being the lowest card in the game it'll give you the lead next round so then we get it through the rest of the bell cards we have the amazing fox artwork, four, five. And then we have, I think it's the woodsman, woodcutter. The woodcutter is the fives. Then we get to the, they call it the treasure. 
which is the seven, the nine, which is the witch. Again, the artwork is really nice on these cards. And finally, the 11, which is the monarch. Now, each of those has a way they break the rules. Then we get into the other suit. What's nice to note here, it's completely different artwork for the next suit, the suit of keys. So we have the swan. Again, I'm going to go through these quick. The fox. The woodcutter. The treasure. The witch. And the monarch. Again, looks completely different than the other suit. Then we get to the final suit of moons. We have the swan. The fox. The woodcutter. The treasure. The witch. And the monarch. That's it. 33 cards. 11 cards and 3 different suits. So that's it. That's what you get with a shiny new copy of... The Fox in the Forest from Renegade Games and partner with Fox Mind Games. I'm going to take these advertisements and keep them out of the box. I don't need those in here. I'm going to toss that back in. Of course, everything fits back in nice. There was nothing I had to take out. All I need to do to play this now is punch those tokens and we're good to go. So there you have it. That is The Fox in the Forest, a two-player trick-taking game from Renegade Games and partner with Fox Mind Games. I really do dig this game. This is a fantastic two-player card game. Again, you can see a link down below to my review of this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. You get to see just how nice the cards are in the Fox of the Forest. I have no complaints about the component quality of this game at all. A fantastic small package card game for two players. Again, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the web at Tabletop or as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitch, all those places. Speaking of Twitch, if you join us Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, myself and my co-host Sean record an episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast where we answer one or more of your gaming questions live here on Twitch. Uh, we answer all sorts of questions. The last one we answered was about... What was the last thing we did? Sorry, uh, the last thing we answered was about how to store miniatures. Your hundreds of miniatures. And the one before that, we were talking about free D6 games. So again, that's over at TabletopBellHop.com. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo Tuzano. Good night, and game on.